everyone. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron factory here. So today we're going to have a run through a 21 foot by 7 foot 8 Kedron All Terrain or AT5. So this one here is in the scrub pack. So the new trademark scrub pack. So that there includes a few additional features in the van. So it's available in all models now. Compact right through to the All Terrain and the Top Ender will have standard. So thanks again to everyone for all your fantastic support here on the growing YouTube family for the Kedrons. It's wonderful to see and appreciate all the comments, the likes, the shares and all the fantastic support here in Australia and to our great friends in America, Canada, all around Europe and the world. So thanks again for tuning in everyone. So back to the van here is Di and Rob's new AT5 as we say. So this one here has the rear full ensuite in that unique all-terrain layout with that wraparound toilet. It has a bifold dinette, so the cafe dinette style with the island queen bed at the front. This one here also has a large six-door pantry as you enter the door. And then it also features a pantry between the cafe dinette and the fridge as well. So plenty of storage space in this one here. See it's all hitched up to a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser in the LC200. So it's all looking fantastic together there. And as you can see the factory here certainly has some stock. So these are all ordered vans, predominantly for the interstate orders over here that we're housing under roof until it's safe or the new owners have the ability to come up and take delivery. And we've also been transporting some on trucks down south as well. At the front there is another couple of Kedrons that are just coming out of that water test bay. So up the top on the roof here, at the factory on that note, we capture the water off that side into the tanks. So we water test with the rain water or the harvested water from the rain, as well as we also are nearly 100% self-sufficient for 240 or mains power here at the factory. So we have a run of solar panels across the roof of the factory, and then they feed into the inverters here so on downtime or weekends or holidays uh, that's feeding back into the grid and we are almost at a neutral power so that is a fantastic thing on the environmental side as well as the cost for production for the new vans here as we say hitched up to the 200 series that blue weight distribution set up there generally indicates that the vehicle or the 200 series has had a towing upgrade so in the ATM on this, this is allowed to be packed up to 3990. It's riding on the Kedron KRS, so the design registered recovery sub suspension, and we might pop straight in and have a bit of a look through. Just, just pop those boots off so you can see that pantry between the fridge. So you got the drawers underneath and pantry space up top. And entering in on the right hand side, you can see that six door pantry so a full height pantry there roof to floor so no lack of storage space in this one in the nice earthy tone so this here has that cream or like a beige in that macro leather on the cafe dinette up top here is above the kitchen space with that Kedron electronics board inside next to the microwave has the new Tetford fan forced oven here. So that has three gas and one 240 to be able to utilize power when you have access to it with a generator or if you're plugged in at a park. Stainless sinks are large stainless bowl here with the drain. So plenty of sink and kitchen bench space there. Plenty of drawer space underneath for additional storage there. All the pull out drawers. Up here is a mobile phone booster repeater. So you have a booster and a repeater to repeat that mobile phone signal out inside the van here if you wish to do so. Electronics board here has the dual controller for both the aircon. 
So the air corner up top here with that LED strip lighting on, you can adjust in the dim, or you can dim it down. And then it also controls the instant gas hot water system on the outside. Circuit resetters, easy to just press there and reset a circuit if it pops. The controller for the dual, so it's got the inverter charger. So this one has a 300 watt inverter, so you can actually run the aircon off the inverter system also. So this here also features a charger to be able to charge into that 400 amp lithium power pack that is inset in that front boot. Some readouts here for the state of charge, the water tank levels, as well as the electrical cabinet temperature outside. You can download an app on your phone and keep an eye on those also. Kenwood head unit, so CD player, Bluetooth, as well as that syncs in or connects up to that TV DVD here so you can watch your movies or say watch your TV there through the surround sound or those Kenwood roof speakers. Up top on that roof is a shine because that's an aluminium dye bond. <laughs> Above that is the Australian made non-toxic insulation in a thermo block. And then back down into the van and into the walls just to showcase that aluminium frame there. Has the high tensile steel pin punches and also features a non-toxic Australian made insulation in the walls as well. Back into the van again, we'll just have a look down the cafe dinette here. So has that bifold table folded back. You can easily fold it out and have your maximum amount of bench space there. You've got controls behind that, dual USBs to charge your phones, mains power as well as the diesel heater controls also. Swiveling back up and to the front of the van just to show the size of that Island Queen bed. So these feature a locally made, so an Australian made deluxe pocket spring bamboo mattress underneath that. So super soft there for the Kedron owners and some welcome gifts above. Some recessed pockets on the side have the USB and the mains power outlets there as well. Directional lighting, twin slimline windows either side of the bed and directional fans there either side as well. Another directional fan above the cafe dinette. So we'll just uh, look down and see the size. You can see the lift up leg extensions there on the side of the cafe seating. So you can kick your feet out and relax and watch a movie or read a newspaper and a book, whatever you please. Large window there above that to be able to take in your view and also be able to have your maximum amount of ventilation if you wish to have that open. Likewise, above the kitchen, a large window there. So you can use that also as a servery. So with the airbags on the van, you can drop the van right down to its lowest storage height. So if you're camped up, makes it nice and easy to get in and out the van. Also has an electric double step. So at the press of a button, that step will go down and back up and retract. I'll just slide back and show the pantry space so you can see the amount of pantry here in that and open up. These have the marine grade catches as well as that full height in the stainless steel piano hinge there. Just your utmost amount of reliability there for your strength, especially when you are traveling off-road. So just swiveling here and looking up, the two-door compressor fridge freezer, pull-out drawers and that pantry space. And then just here, looking to the entrance of that ensuite here in the full height mirror. So it really does give the van more of an open feel as well as it is great to have that full height mirror. Entering into the ensuite, you can see that wraparound style around that toilet. Recess for the toilet roll holder, the ceramic bowl sink, flick mixer tap. More mirror space there, more storage above the mirror and the wall mounted washing machine. We'll just swivel in and have a look at the shower. A really large shower base and recess in the all terrains here. More ventilation and additional lighting there as well. And looking back into the van, you can see just that really nice large open style of layout in this one here. As we say, all the different colors, layouts, inclusions, it is great to see all in their own personal way. The commercial grade separately laid flooring so that high grade in the flooring there as well and looking up into the roof is the Kedron design registered filter compression hatch 
So that has an Australian made filter and the unique ability to be able to access that swing down filter from inside the van itself. So when you're traveling on dirt roads, you simply turn this switch on here and that will pressurize the inside of the cabin of the van with a filtered air. So a positive pressure there. And then when you pull up, you simply turn that off. Grab handle here, and then we'll step outside and have a bit of a look. So just on the electric step, so you've got to switch just here. And that step down here is very easy to simply at the press of a button, retract and extend, and also features the LED courtesy light there as well, which is really handy at night. And we'll step up and have a bit of a look around the outside and we will let Di and Rob head off for a test tow. So just having a bit of a look at the front of the van here, just showcasing that towing upgrade with that weight distribution set up there, padded cover over the top of the 12 volt power jack. Twin nine kilo gas bottles are housed in here with stainless steel straps and that's ventilated out underneath for the gas code. Up top is an access porthole to be able to easily turn on and off your gas bottles as you please. Twin 10 litre jerrys there, either side, stainless strapped again and lockable. Additional storage up top, the fluid holder or the reservoir there and pump for the disc brakes. Some provisioning under there for additional strength in case Di and Rob want to add some folding bike racks. And above here is the design registered Kedron front awning. So that generally has that solar integration for the design reg, but this one here has so much solar up top. So especially with this scrub pack, it features four 180 watts and two 80 watt solar panels up on top of the roof. So plenty of solar on this one here slide out additional storage inside here with the barbecue provision when that comes out and a 400 amp steel encased lithium power pack there as well led keyless drop tables and then the kedron load rated alloys here a nice kedron punch into that side composite and we will pop down underneath and have a quick look so the Kedron KRS protection plates, they're all formed in part of that hot dip galvanized chassis. So all the Kedron owners from the first one built all have the peace of mind of the hot dip galvanized there, which is the utmost amount of corrosion protection inside and outside of the Kedron chassis. This one here, as we say, features the Kedron KRS or the recovery stub suspension. Again, all government tested and certified, design registered to be unique for the Kedron owners. And this one here also has the Australian made water tanks. Again, Kedron unique. These here are baffled to limit the water sloshing left to right, giving a beautiful stable tow or adding to it. And then also they are a food grade plastic. So you've got peace of mind of not a cheap imported tank there not knowing what style of plastics being used they are an australian made food grade plastic Just stepping around the outside of the van here to the back you can see that laser cut at5 in the locally made alloy bumper there powder coated also these here are the pole carriers or well, this is the pole carrier above the twin spares and above that, the Kedron badging with the reverse camera between the all-terrain decal. Stepping back, you can see that black side door here at the rear is the auxiliary or the outside shower. Below that is an access door for the cassette toilet, the instant gas hot water system here, the outlet for the gray water tank, more nice Kedron punching there to brand the side of the van as we say the Kedron caravans here the business in Australia dad started in 1962 so and have been and have produced now since 2000 or 99 2000 over 2000 Kedron so there's a uh, raft of Kedron owners that are heading around Australia 
some around New Zealand that have bought here, traveled and taken home. It is wonderful to see the support plus also the longevity in the Kedron name here in Australia. So Dad's original display yard stands as Australia's longest established caravan center in Australia. And now with his sons, grandsons and granddaughter uh, and a raft of say 35 to 40 odd staff uh, continue to manufacture the Kedron product for the new owners like Di and Rob here. And today is their day to take delivery of this beautiful looking van. The outside electronics recess here features the dust prevention buttons. So the triple rubber sealed and compression locks there as well. So when you travel on dirt or dusty roads or when Guy and Rob do, they can simply press button those closed. When they do, this has a thermostat controlled fan inside that will help keep things at the operating temperatures. Just stand back and have a little bit of an overview and wrap around the front the ever popular LC200 as the tow vehicle. It's been quite the trademark look here with the Kedron for many years indeed. All right, I will wrap it up here and thank you again for tuning in for all the regular supporters and commenters and those that tune in. We've got a fantastic amount of regular commenters and supporters. And on behalf of all the family here and the whole Kedron team, thank you very much for your support. To Di and Rob, thank you very much for choosing Kedron for your new van. We all sincerely wish you many safe and enjoyable travels around this beautiful country of ours. All right all, we might catch up with Di and Rob on the track someday, enjoying their beautiful new setup here. If not, we might catch up with them or you on the next walkthrough. Thanks again all. Stay safe and bye for now.